What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors. I want y'all to hit that subscribe button. We post videos every single day of classic cars. Up here at Maple Motors, you can check out all of our uh, social media aspects, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and yet, yeah, right here on YouTube, test drives and walkarounds. Let's get to it. What's up guys, this is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and I got a 1978 anniversary Corvette, small block 350. And you guessed it, it's test drive time. Let's go for a ride. We're gonna look around the car before we take off. It's got the red interior in it. Uh, digital radio, it's been upgraded, the Corvette radio. Gauges and all the clusters look nice and clean. Seats are in great shape. It's got the covers on the T-tops. Nice little stereo system in the back there. Carpet's in great shape. Car looks pretty good. Got your adjustable steering wheel, telescoping. The buzzer still works. You can see we had it, we pulled it up and got her cleaned up so I could do this test drive. Looking at some of the gauges here. Looks like the oil pressure gauge is kind of stuck. Battery gauge is coming up. Gas gauge does work on this one. The temperature did come up. RPMs are coming up. Got a little bit of a brake light on here. I don't know, it could be this. That's not what's doing it, so. Let's take off. All right, guys, getting ready to go down the road here. Check our windows and stuff. I haven't done it. Both of them are very fast. See if the AC cuts on. I've seen the compressor on there. I don't feel it pulling down on the car. So I'm going to say the compressor's not kicking on. We're going to turn on the heat because it's very cold out here. And the heat is working. Instant. Go ahead and buckle up here before we take off. Try our windshield wipers. Oh! Get you back up there. I had to lick it and stick it that time. All right. Windshield wipers, they do work. Horn, no horn in this one. A little radio. Looks like the light come on on it. And I do hear it. It is working. A nice little sound system in the back there. We'll be checking everything. That way when you get here and this heat got to cut off. That was got too many layers on for all that. Brake pedal's a little soft. There is a brake light on. Uh, I checked the fluid, it was a little low, so we'll be looking to see if a caliper's leaking. If it is, we'll have that fixed, it's no issue. Um, we want them to run and drive good, but I do go over on everything and check and let you know what turn signals work, what lights work, how it runs and drives. Here we go. Speedo is coming up, steering wheel's not centered up. Car showing 57,000 miles on it. Of course, every 100,000, it goes back to zero. Kick down does work. It is hooked up. Got a little bit of construction through here, so we'll slow down. We'll get on the back road. Brakes don't feel bad. They're definitely a little soft to go to the floor, but they're uh, 
right before the floor it's got a little bit of grab i think it's got a little bit of air in the lines from where i added the fluid so like i said that's not an issue that could be fixed we can get that fixed when we get back checking everything out might as well check the lighter a little cigarette lighter there paperwork in the glove box for the radio and cars going straight down the road and I mean the steering's nice and tight there's no slack in it at all like I said the turn signals on both sides are working it does have a cruise option try it on the back road here the car seems to run really good suspension's nice not a lot of rattles I'll say the cruise does not work All right, I got y'all set up in the driver's seat here, so we're gonna take off down the road. Temperature's still looking good. It's right around 190. Gas gauges went down a little bit. It's right at a quarter tank. tightened up there let some of this traffic cruise on through and we'll take off the car shifts out smoothly it's definitely pulling good brakes feel good the brake light's gone and the pedal actually feels better it may have had a little bit of air in it but let these people get on ahead of us they just on their brakes so here we go there when it shifted felt pretty good it's 
So that's the only thing that was squeaking right here is the center of the steering wheel. Right here in the middle of this road, there's a big old bump. We're gonna hit it, test the suspension on the car. Right here beside this little uh, Ford Ranger truck. Here we go. Not too bad. Tell you what, I'm gonna cut this heat completely off because it's burning me out of here. We got another stretch of road here. And we'll be back at the lot. feels pretty good and for the most part all of our gauges are working except for our clock it probably went out years ago they're all looking pretty good battery gauge is right at 14 temperature is right at 190 oil pressure showing about 30 rpm gauge is working speedo is working our heat works we do have ac on here i didn't hear it engaging uh when i put it in ac mode it, i just didn't feel it dragging down on the motor we will be doing a walk around of this car here um so be looking for that that way you know everything about the outside we'll pop the hood look under that and uh, check the interior out Right, guys you can also check us out at maplemotors.com we keep classic cars in stock every day we're buying cars selling cars be sure to check that out that's maplemotors.com we've also got social media aspects covered as instagram snapchat facebook and of course youtube here i'm getting ready to do a walk around of this corvette which means i'm going to go around the outside of the car point out any kind of flaws i could find we're going to check over everything i want you to know everything about this car before you get here sell a lot of cars to people out of state i don't want you getting here seeing something you didn't expect so that's why we do these videos i appreciate y'all watching if you don't mind hit that subscribe button and we're going to get at this uh walk around video y'all have a good day